Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. I'm going into um, the New King James Version. I'm reading in Second Timothy, verse 1, 13. But before that, I have um, uh, on the side there, because it's a inspirational study Bible, Mm -hmm. I have the, on the side there I'd like to read for you. And after that, I'll go to uh, 2 Timothy 13 to 18 after. Uh, Paul gave hope and encouragement to Timothy. Christian came under increasing persecution from Roman throughout the empire. The pressure to abandon the faith was strong. We must seek strength from the Lord to deal with daily stresses and the pressure to abandon our faith. Uh, inspiration. In our house, we call 5 p.m. the Perina hour. That's the time of day when everyone wants a piece of mom. Sarah, the baby, is hungry. Andrea wants mom to read her book. <laughs> Jenna wants help with her homework. Mm -hmm. And I, the ever loving, ever sensitive husband, wants the Nanin to drop everything and talk to me about my day. When is your Piranha hour? When do people in your world demand much and offer little? Every boss has had a day in which the requests outnumber the results. There's not a business person alive who hasn't grown as an armada of assignment docked at his or her desk. For the teacher, the parana hour often begins when the first student enters and ends with when the last student leaves. Perina, Perina, our parents, have them. Bosses injure them, secretary dread them, teachers are besieged by them, and Jesus taught us how to live through them successfully. <laughs> when hands extended and voice demanded, Jesus responded with love. He did so because the code within him disarmed the alarm. The code is worth nothing. People are precious. Application. Do daily stresses cause you to doubt the power of God? Guard your heart against the external influence that attacks your faith. Turn to the Lord for wisdom and strength. To counter the challenge, you could go also to uh, exploration or uh, uh, Genesis twenty-five thirty-two thirty-three. You could go to Judge six twenty-five thirty. You could go to Proverbs four twenty-three, Matthew four verse one, James chapter one verse two to four. Um, now I'm going to read the, the word. I thank the Lord to bless his inspiring word. Be loyal to the faith. Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. That good things which was committed to you keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. Since you know that all these in Isaiah have turned away from me, among whom are Philly, Fee Gillis and Hermogene, the Lord grant mercy to the household of one Zipporah, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he arrived in Rome, he sought me 
out very zealously and found me. The Lord grant to him that he may find mercy from the Lord in that day. And you know very well how many ways he ministered to me at Ephesus. Be strong in grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace, Lord. I thank you for your church, Lord. Thank you. You are our helper and our hope. We put our hope in you, Lord. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you this morning. Praise God as you move into that new place, and may he continue to cover you. God bless you, Deacon. Coming to share with us this morning, uh, the scripture is Sister Caroline McFarland. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. I'll be reading bless from Mark 4, 3 to 9, uh, and also verses 13 to 20 from the New Living Translation. It says, listen, a farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants so they produced no grain. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as they had, had been planted. Then he said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Then Jesus said to them, if you can't understand the meaning of this parable, how will you understand all the other parables? The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the Mm. lure of wealth, and the desire for other things so no fruit is produced. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as has been planted. Praise the name of the Lord. May God add the blessing to the reading of his inspired word. God bless you. Thank you so much, Sister Caroline. And here coming to share what God has laid upon his heart for today is Pastor Owen Bruce. He's no stranger to us. He's not a stranger to us. He's a brother and an awesome brother in the Lord. He stands with me in prayer on a daily basis, moment by moment, as my adjutant. And so we give God praise and thanks. Come on in, my brother, and share with us today. Pastor Owen Bruce. Good morning. Good morning. Are you hearing me okay, or do I need my headset? Good morning, amen. You are doing well, sir. Okay. Wow, you even got a suit on for us. Praise God. (laughs) Amen. 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 That's what you see on the top, but you don't know the shorts are here. Oh, don't, don't, (laughs) don't offer, amen. (laughs) Don't worry, there's some nice sport shorts. Praise the Lord. So it's good to see you all today. I want to thank you, Bishop, for um, inviting me to come and share the word. Uh, Today, I'm looking forward to uh, your active participation because we're going to have a prayer message today. So a prayer message. We're going to hear the word. And as we're hearing the word, we're going to pray. And the points we will be touching on, uh, I want you to be praying for those who need this because as we come together as a body we're believing the lord that he will touch them with his word and it might even be for you and so i'm really believing that as the church gathers today 
the power of God is going to be released into those who hear this message lives. I, I really believe that uh, the Lord has set this time for this message to be released into you and into those who would be hearing this message. So I am actively asking and encouraging uh, your participation as we go through the message today. And so uh, we heard our scripture reading from uh, Mark chapter 4, which has to do with seed and with four different types of soil. And uh, recently I have been embarked on a battle that perhaps uh, some of you have been embarked in, embarked upon. And uh, I'm just going to take a moment here and share my screen with you. Can you all see that picture? Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. All right. This this is what's going on in my front lawn and in my back lawn. The battle against the old dandelion, the battle against the weed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just took these pictures this morning. So this battle is an ongoing battle. Uh, that's the ugly little fella that I am trying to get rid of. And literally <laughs> there are hundreds of them that are infecting my lawn. Mm. <laughs> Here's another picture, just to show a little broader of how they are just spreading and they're just growing wherever they want. Now, remember Mark chapter four as you're, as you're looking at these pictures. All right. As you can see, I have my work cut out for me. Mm -hmm. And this is only a small portion. All right. So, time to go into battle. I purchased some of this spray. <laughs> I'll weed out. I'm not giving any advertisements for anyone, but I'm just letting you know what I'm using. My goal is to get rid of these weeds. I mean, let's face it. Nobody of us wants weeds in our lawn or in our garden. So we do what we have to do to try to get rid of them. So I got this spray. I want the weeds out. out. Mm -hmm. All right. That's one of my weapons. Another weapon, another tool that I bought is this weed remover. And uh, as uh, Michael W. Smith put it, This is how I find my battle. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> this is how I find my battle. Jesus. This is how I find my battle. Mm. Wow. Amen. So I went to work this morning. All right. And I used that weed remover. And there you see, I plucked one of them out. This is how I'm fighting my battle. All right. Now, when that weed gets removed, it leaves a, a small hole in the ground. So then that hole needs to be filled up. So I have some of my turf builder and some of my grass seed. And as I remove the weed, I fill it back up with the soil, with the turf builder, with the grass seed, so that in place of that weed, I will have some nice green grass growing. Now, I want that green grass growing because I got people that I need to make happy. That's the end result that I am looking for. That's okay. a portion of the lawn where I already yanked out all of those weeds. I put down my grass seed. I put down my soil. I put down what I needed. I watered it. And there you see no weeds in this section. Because these are the people, like some of the people I got to please. There's my daughter and uh, my other daughter's little puppy named Gimli. And they like to be out there in the grass. And so the message that I'm bringing to you today is entitled Garbage Out, <laughs> Glory In. Hmm. All right. Garbage Out, Glory In. And this is what we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying the garbage out 
of our lives. Yes. And the goal is to allow the glory to come in. Hallelujah. I know a few weeks ago, Apostle Mel spoke about a message on glory and, and praise the Lord. You know, as, as I was listening to the past few messages on, uh, on Bethel, I, I realized that, and even before that, that there's really no end to a message. The message just continues on. Continues. It just keeps building one upon the other upon the other. Amen. So this is simply adding, even to last week, the message that you would have heard about Pentecost and the power of the Holy Spirit. And the other message, like this is just adding that the message does not end. It's it's ongoing. Amen. So in, in this part, in this chapter, or in this page of the book, if you want to put it that way, we're talking about getting the garbage out. And letting the glory in. We want to get these weeds out. And we want that nice green pasture, that nice green grass. This is what we want our spiritual lives to be looking like. Amen. Because we see in the scripture reading what these weeds are able to do. And so I'm just going to take you off of the screen share now for just a moment. If I can. Come back to my camera. Give me a moment here. I don't know. Are you seeing me once again? Are you still seeing my screen? Yeah, you go ahead. Up in the corner. Green. Okay. Praise the Lord. So, what we want to talk about is based on the scripture that we just read in uh, Mark chapter 4. And this was Jesus uh, teaching his disciples. And he was teaching them in the form of a parable. And the parable was about a uh, sower, and it was about seeds, and it was about uh, these four different conditions in which the seed fell into. So let's just look at these conditions, and then we're going to uh, pray concerning these things. And so the first condition that we find is the seed that fell by uh, the wayside or the seed that fell along the path. And Jesus was there talking in uh, code, so to speak, or he was talking in parables, so that those who were supposed to receive the message, those whose hearts were open and willing to receive the message, would actually receive it. Because it says in verse um, 11 that after the, the disciples came to him and asked him, what do these disciples mean? He said, he replied, you are permitted to understand the secret of the kingdom of God, but I use parables for everything I say to outsiders so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. When they see what I do, they will learn nothing. When they hear what I say, they will not understand Otherwise, they will turn to me and be forgiven. Mm -hmm. And so the Bible is like a um, parable, actually, to those who do not believe. They see it. Um, they hear it. Yes. But they just don't get it. I mean, yes. the words are right there in front of them. And that was me many years ago. The words were right there in front of me. But I didn't get it. I didn't pay attention to it. I didn't take it to heart. And so the whole thing was like a parable. But when we understand how powerful and how precious this word is, that's when it stops being a parable. We come to the place of like where the disciples were. And it's like, Lord, help me to understand. Sometimes you'll come across a passage of scripture and you'll say, Lord, help me to understand this scripture. 
Give me deeper insight. Give me understand, understanding. And the reason you want that understanding is because you want to grow in your knowledge and understanding of God. You want to grow in your faith. You want the word of God to bless you. And, you know, ultimately our goal is that through the word of God blessing us, we would be a blessing to others. And so the word of God is like a parable. So now he begins to explain this parable to them because he says, if you don't understand this parable, how will you understand all of the other parables that I'm going to share with you? And so the first condition whereby the seed fell was upon the footpath. And he said, birds came and ate it. So now he's going to explain to his disciples what exactly does that mean? And thank goodness he goes down and he explains each one of these conditions. He lets us know down in verse 14, in verse 15, he says, the seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away. And so we know that there is spiritual opposition to the word of God. You might share the gospel with someone. People might hear a, a message online or watch it on TV or hear it on the radio. And the enemy wants to come and snatch that word away from us. Yes. We do have a spiritual enemy. Jesus acknowledges that Satan is real, the devil is real, and one of the things that this devil, this enemy of God, Satan actually means um, adversary or one who opposes, what he is opposing is the word that God wants to get into your heart, and how does he snatch it? We don't see it here, but you would see it in the similar parable, I believe it's in Luke chapter 8, whereby Jesus explains that it's snatched away by unbelief. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible tells us that Satan has blinded the minds of people so that they will not see the glory of Christ. And so yeah. it's through unbelief, it's through blindness that they would hear, but they just won't get it. There is a spiritual opposition that is there. And so this word is going out. To many, many people, many, many people are hearing the gospel today preached from the pulpits, preached, you know, from online, from many, many different assemblies. And unfortunately, Jesus said for many people, it's going to fall on the footpath. Mm. It's going to fall in the path and the enemy is going to come and snatch that word away. But right now, join with me in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray that as your word goes out right now, today, this day, this message, and other messages being preached from the gospel, from the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that the enemy will not be able to come and snatch it away in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 So we need to be in battle. We need to be in prayer. We need to be aware that even what we're hearing, if we're not careful unbelief can creep in and the enemy uses doubt and unbelief to snatch the word of God from our hearts. He did it with Adam and Eve in the yeah. beginning in Genesis chapter three. And it's the same old tool of deception that he uses today. And so let's look now at the second place where the seed fell. In verse 16, he explains that the seed that fell on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. There's some people, they get so excited. They hear this message of salvation and they are like, wow, this is exactly what I need. And they are excited about Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, and we should rejoice when people hear something from the word of God and they get excited about it and it touches them. But it needs to go beyond that because Jesus said in verse 17, but since they don't have deep roots, they mm. don't last long. Right. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's words. And so as long as everything is going rosy, these people are fine. But okay. as soon as a problem comes up, as soon as people start persecuting them or pointing the finger at them and perhaps mocking them for being a Christian, it says they shrink back, they fade away. 
My Lord. They do not last long. Lord and so we want to pray that as people would hear this word, that as problems would come their way, as persecutions would come, as challenges, as, as they would be mocked and people would question them and say, oh, I know what you used to be like. Who are you trying to fool, trying okay. to pretend you're a Christian now? We yeah. want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for those yes. hearing the word of God today that have been excited by it. That, Lord, that are, that are trying to grow in you and want to pursue you. That, Lord, as problems would come their way. That, Lord God, as they would face challenges, as they would face perhaps family and friends and co-workers or people in school who would be opposing them and making fun of them because of their newfound faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that these things will not cause them to turn away from you. We yeah. pray, oh Lord God, that this seed would have deeper roots, oh Lord God, that they would not be uprooted and that they would not turn their backs upon you, but that they would continue on, oh Lord God, that they would be able to persist in the name of Jesus. And for those yes, listening Lord. right now, and Lord, things are weighing upon them that are causing them to doubt and to question their faith, whether or not you are real, whether or not your love Oh, Lord God is there because of what they're going through. Lord, we pray that you would remove every lie of the enemy right in now the in the Jesus. name of Jesus Hallelujah. and cause them to stand firm. See them through the problem. See them through the circumstance. See them, see them through the persecution yes. in the name of Jesus. Name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, Amen. Let's, let's move on. Amen. Amen. We are, church, we are doing ministry today in the name, the name of, of Jesus. Yes. Let, let us believe, believe with me that God is going to be touching and uh, helping people and healing people as we continue on in the word. So let's look yes. now at the third condition. So the first one fell on the pathway. The enemy came and snatched it away. The second one received with joy initially, but didn't have deep roots. So they didn't last long when problems and persecutions came. The third one is the seed, the seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly. The message is crowded out by the worries of this life. Yes. The lure of wealth and the desire for other things. So no fruit is produced. Mm. Remember the picture of my lawn that I showed you, how there were weeds everywhere. These things were like crowding out the things that were in my, the grass that was in my lawn. They, they just appear and they just multiply. Mm. And Jesus was saying, there are these thorns that are there. People hear the word, but all too quickly, they're, they're believing it. They're, they're wanting to pursue the faith. But other things come in and take precedence over the word of God. Other things My come Lord. in and take precedence over Jesus. The worries Ooh. of this life. And yes. I don't even need to go into the worries of this life because of what we're going through right now. We know there's a lot of worries in this life. The, yes. the lure of wealth, a seeking after, making money and acquiring things, your primary goal in life. And the desire for other things. When it says other things, it means I am desiring, I'm going after, I am placing as my goal, as my top priority, other things that I can acquire in this life. Whatever it might be, whether it's um, relationships, whether it's a career, whatever it is, those things are taking precedence. In other words, you see that as more important. Important. Yeah. Than your relationship with God. These are all good things, some of these things. These are good things to have in your life, but everything in its proper order. Remember yes. what Jesus said in, um, I believe it's Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Yeah. God has given us a priority list whereby when he is first when his kingdom is first when his word is a priority in our lives then all of these other things that we need and that we desire that are in god's will for us he will take care of it because we have made him lord we have made him the lord over every area 
of our lives. God has put the formula there for us. And so it says that you can be a believer, but it's possible that no fruit is being produced in your life. What is the fruit? We know the fruit. Some of the fruit is mentioned in Galatians chapter 5, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. But we're going to be praying concerning these fruit for those people who are stuck in this area where they're serving the Lord. They say, yes, they're a believer, but life is just getting to them. They're just focused on other things. They're just kind of taken out of and they're not zeroing in on Jesus. And so right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those who have been overcome by the worries of this world. Yes. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that those worries would be submitted unto the Lordship of Jesus Christ within their lives. We pray, Lord, concerning their desires and the things that they have made priorities. And even, oh, Lord God, the, the lure of wealth, oh, Lord God, that some of these things can take us away from you. We pray yeah. in the name of Jesus that you would deliver people, oh, Lord God, from pursuing things outside, oh, Lord God, of making you their top priority. Yeah, these Lord. things that have captured their hearts and have become idols within their lives. My we God. pray, oh, Lord God, that these things would be dethroned in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Anything, Lord. oh, Lord God, that has exalted itself above you, that has been made a priority above knowing you and loving you and serving you, Lord, we pray that it would take its rightful place within their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And Lord, if it is an ungodly desire, let it be cut off right now in right Jesus' now. name and let the King of Kings yes. and the Lord of Lords be seated upon the throne of our lives in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us look at the fourth and final place where the seed fell. In verse 20, as Jesus explains this. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times fold. as much as yes. has been planted. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that you today? Amen. Amen. Because if that is you, you should start rejoicing right now. My God. In the name of Jesus. As God is yes. saying, when his Let's word see. gets into you, yes. remember verse 14, the farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. And so yes. the seed is the word of God. It says, when the word falls upon good soil, when it falls upon a person who is ready to hear and accept the word, mm. glory, it produces a harvest. Hallelujah. Words, it multiplies. Yes. Some 30, some 60, mm -hmm. and in some even a hundred times glory as much. Yes. As yes. what was planted. In other words, one good word from the Lord mm -hmm. can produce a hundredfold times on, harvest sir. within your life. I don't yes, even know sir. spiritually exactly what that means. But all what I know is that there is an explosion of the word of God within My you. God. An explosion of the revelation of God. An explosion mm. of the glory of God. An explosion of faith that occurs within you to mm. be able to go forward and to meet the challenges that you face in this life. Yes, Lord. You see, Thank you. this seed that fell on good soil, the good soil that we're talking about here, it doesn't mean that it doesn't go through, at times, some of these other conditions that we've read about. Because we're in the world, but we're not of the world. That's so right. just because it falls upon good soil, it does not mean that, you know, there are no worries in this life, right? That's right. <laughs> It doesn't mean that there aren't other things that will try to lure you away. It doesn't mean That's that right. the enemy is not coming and trying to snatch that word by Come placing doubt and unbelief in your heart. Yes. It doesn't mean that at times you might get a fresh insight into something that God is showing you, but it's not really deeply rooted. And so when that thing that you hear, you hear a word and it's challenging you to believe God for something, but then you face a situation and you say, but I thought the preacher said this. And suddenly, but it looks like in my life, 
the opposite thing is happening. God, okay. what is going on here? And so the problems of this life can try to quench and come against your faith. But mm. what do we want? You want to be able to pursue God. You want yes. to be able to persist through each of those situations, through each of those circumstances, so that your heart is ready and open and willing to receive, no matter what is going on around you. Yes, God. You posture your heart in such a way, every time you open up the Bible, every time you come to hear a message, you want to posture your heart and say, Lord, I am ready to accept, Hallelujah. I am ready to believe, I am yes. ready to receive, and I know you are going to produce a harvest in my uh -huh. life through this Hallelujah. word that I am receiving. And so let's pray that right Amen. now. Father, in the name of Jesus, name we are Jesus. in good soil. We are praying, oh Lord God, that whatever things need to be pushed out of the way, whatever garbage needs to be plucked out, whatever mm. things need to be removed, whatever things need to be replaced, reprioritized, that Lord, it would happen right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. That that continue to go forth in the final part of this prayer message that Lord what you have for them through your word it will be received in the name of in Jesus the name of Jesus for some it will be 30, some it would be 60 fold some it would be a hundred fold as yes, what is granted right now in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. we give praise and thanks in Jesus name, in the name of Jesus amen, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I heard a preacher even yesterday just talking about this, a pastor here in Toronto, and uh, she was explaining that this 30, 60, and 100 fold, it's not referring to three types of people, but it's all talking about within the same person, mm. that there's the capacity for it to be just 30 fold. Yes. Or, based on the individual, it could be 60 fold. Or it yeah. could even be a hundredfold as much. And she was leaning towards the idea that we could help determine how great yes. this harvest is going to be. Yes. Now, I, I, I would even add to that by saying that based on the severity of the problem, mm -hmm. based on the severity of the issue or whatever yes. it is that might be going on, Yes. Sometimes you might need 30-fold. Mm -hmm. Sometimes right. you might, mean, might need 60-fold because that's yes. a, a graver issue. Yes. Sometimes it might require faith that's multiplied by a hundredfold because this is a massive problem that you're facing. And mm -hmm. God's mm -hmm. word is yes. able to meet whether it's small, whether it's medium, whether yes. it's large, whatever the degree is, the word is able to satisfy oh, yes. and to meet that need because God watches mm. over his word to perform to it. Perform so it. There yes. is it's too small in God's eyes. Yes. There is nothing that's too big in God's eyes. Nothing, I believe that's nothing. another thing that Jesus is saying in the midst of this, that there is nothing that's too small or too big not to be able to activate his word and to bring it to pass in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus. So Amen. Now we're going to end this message by praying these 13 things. I'm going to go back to uh, my PowerPoint slides. And uh, please let me know if you're seeing that. Are you still seeing the garbage out, Glorian? Yes. Mm. All right. Let's go. Number one, comfort. Mm. There's times where we need comfort. Yes. And Amen. So if we hear a word regarding God's comfort, we believe, God, that at times of need, it would be multiplied that 30-fold, that 60-fold, that 100-fold, whatever we need. So 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 to 5 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that mm -hmm. we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. God. That's it. So, mm -hmm. This word of comfort has now been planted into good soil we are believing. And yes, so, Father, God. in the name of Jesus, I pray for those to receive this word. We pray, oh Lord God, that those who are hearing this message and mm -hmm. need to be comforted, that, Lord, they would receive comfort through you in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord. Lord, in the midst of their suffering, 
in the midst of their pain. Let there be a release of the comfort of God. Let their minds be placed at ease right now, even in their bodies, Lord. Touch them physically in the name of Jesus. Yes, Multiply God. this word as needed based upon the situation in Jesus' name. Do it, Lord. Amen. 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 All right. For those of you who need comfort, say, I receive that comfort now. I receive yes. the comfort of the Lord. And also oh, note in that verse that God, once he's comforted you, and many of you have gone, yes. received this comfort in the past. He uses you. Many of you can testify oh, that God uses you. you. What you went through and how God comforted you, comfort. you are able to comfort someone yes. else through thank your you, very testimony. Praise thank the you, Lord. So it does not end it might begin with you. God says, yes. comfort you receive. Once you receive that, once it's multiplied in your life, I want you, when you come across others who are in any trouble, to comfort them with the same yes. comfort by which you were comforted. Amen. And that's what we're doing today. Amen. Amen. Let's, we're going to be moving quickly here. Number two, deliverance. Deliverance. That seed, that word of deliverance that comes into our heart. Whatever that problem, that situation might be. That God would bring that deliverance. Second Corinthians yes. verse 10, where it says, who, speaking about God, who delivered us from so great a death and does deliver us, in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. Yes. Colossians 1 and 13 says, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love. And yes. you read so many stories of deliverance in the scriptures. These yes. are just little seeds that I am planting. But as you start to read about even, you know, the deliverance of the children of Israel from Pharaoh and from the Egyptians and from all of their different enemies that you would read about in the Old Testament, times when they cried out to God and, and God delivered them. And even coming into the New Testament, the deliverance from demonic powers, from, from demons, from, from whatever the situation was, from dangerous situations, even when the Apostle Paul was, was on that ship and it was in a storm and All God right. delivered them and brought them safely. Nobody perished that was in that boat at that point in time. And so no matter what it is, we're praying for deliverance right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. we are praying for those who are hearing this word as Lord God, the seed of the word of deliverance has been sent out and planted, O oh Lord God. Hopefully it has been planted, Lord. We, we pray that it doesn't fall by the path, O oh Lord God, but that it enters into people's hearts and they will believe yes. that you are a God who delivers. Lord, we come together as the body of Christ and we are praying for deliverance, O oh Lord God, from every of strategy of the enemy, from every demonic power, from, oh Lord God, addictions, oh Father God, in the name, in of, the Jesus. Mighty name of Deliver Jesus. people from suicidal thoughts, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, we are God. praying, oh Lord God, that the chains would be broken off right of people's now. lives. Lord, financial situations that people find themselves in. Lord, relationship problems, oh Lord God. Oh Father God, abusive situations. We are praying yes. for deliverance in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Christ. Oh, Lord God, all types of torments of the mind. We are praying for deliverance, however you choose to see fit. In the name of Jesus, break that, oh, Lord God. Break that darkness, right now, that God. dark cloud to move away off break of their it. lives, oh, Lord. Deliver them from the power of darkness and, oh, Lord God, into the blessings of the kingdom of the yeah. Son of God, of the Son, of the one who loves us. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. amen. 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 Hallelujah, Amen. church. I'm, I'm so thankful that you are praying alongside with Hallelujah. me. God is doing amazing things. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Man, yeah. let's 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 continue Amen. on. Amen. Encouragement. Oh, when how how many of us need a word of encouragement? Thank God, Hallelujah. each word of encouragement is shared uh, in the service. But yes. uh, here's here's uh, scripture in Acts 20 and verse two when it says, "Now when he had gone over." that region, talking about Paul, and encouraged them with many words, he came to Greece. Note how they were encouraged. They were encouraged by the words that he spoke. Yes. Praise the Lord. Words bring encouragement. Yes. I hope you're receiving this. Words yeah. bring encouragement. How much wow. more the word of God brings encouragement. My mm. Lord. My Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be encouraged. 
by the word of God today. Get into the word when you're discouraged. Get into the word. Get, get into, into it. Psalms. Hallelujah. Get in as, as the Holy Spirit would lead you. Get in there and be yes. encouraged by the words of the Lord. Yes. You can be encouraged by the words of others. Others Amen. can cheer you up. But you need to receive those words of encouragement. And you know what I love yes. about words of encouragement that come from the word of God? They are truth. Truth. Yes. Some type of rosy, fancy type of thing. Paint a different picture that is not reality to try oh, to... No, 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 no. God encourages you with a word of truth. Word of the truth. truth. Yes. And I want to pray for that encouragement today. Right now, in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those who are discouraged because of what they're going through in life, be it their relationship situation be it their job situation, be it what's happening within their body, in their health, be it, oh, Lord God, through the loss of a loved one, whatever that situation is, Lord, fear of the future, oh, Lord God, not knowing what's going to be happening to them or with our world. Father, we pray right now that ah. you would encourage them by your word in the name of in the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Name of Jesus. You hold, oh, Lord God, this world in your hands, and yes. Lord, you are working everything out according to your will. So yes. may we be encouraged right now. Let discouragement go in yes. the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Jesus. That garbage of discouragement right now. Let the garbage of discouragement, discouragement go and let your glory of encouragement yes, come in. Lord. In the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God is planting. God is doing a work. Faith. Hallelujah. How many of us are faith is facing something? And it's like, Lord, I, I need I need the faith to trust, to know, to believe that you yes, are going God. to see me through this. Romans 10 and verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing yes. and hearing by, by the word, word of word God. Of God. Ah. It talks there about hearing. It doesn't only mean that you're hearing words coming out of my mouth, but you are obeying. Yes. Yeah, the true idea of hearing is not only to physically hear or to cognitively hear those words, but to obey what you are hearing. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now for those who need faith in a particular situation. Lord, right now. especially faith for salvation. Right now, in the name of Jesus, ah. we pray you would grant yeah. that faith, that it would be released through your word. For Lord Jesus. Jesus came, O oh Lord God, you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son, O oh Lord God, that those who believe in Jesus would not perish, but have everlasting life. And Lord, if you have so freely given us your son, will you not freely give us all things? That's what your word declares. And so Father, let faith come right now in the name of Jesus. Let faith them arise. Hallelujah. assurance that you are going to accomplish what your word declares in Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Lord, let Amen. it Amen. be settled right now. In Jesus' name, let them stand firm. Let there be no uprooting, O oh Lord God. Let not the problems or the heaviness of the situations overcome their faith. But mm. Lord, you have overcome the world. And Lord, allow our faith to cause us to overcome our faith in you to yes. overcome in every situation, in Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. How are we doing on time, Bishop? Doing good. Do you keep preaching, sir? All right. Number five, glory. The seed of glory that God wants to plant in our heart and has planted and wants that thing to multiply, multiply 30, 60, 100 fold. The Hebrews 1, 1 to 3, God, who at various times and his various ways in various ways, spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, yes. as in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, mm -hmm. and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand right of the majesty right on high. Yes. Oh, Lord. God, receive uh, hallelujah. Every, single, every single bit of what I just read into your yes, heart. Lord. Yes, Lord. It's hallelujah. that Jesus is the brightness yes, of yes, God's Lord. glory. 
Jesus is the glory of God manifest. Yes, yes. We, if, if we want more of the glory of God, we're talking about more of Jesus. We're talking yes. about a greater revelation of Jesus. We're talking about a greater understanding of Jesus, of Jesus. a greater appreciation of, of Jesus, a, a magnification of Jesus within our lives. Do you want to be in awe of the Lord? Do you want to be amazed by God? If yes. you are but receive this word into your heart and let Jesus be magnified in your life so that you will be in a place where it's not difficult to make God a priority. God is a priority because you recognize all that he has done for you. Come on, and yes. And for who he is, that Jesus being the express, the brightness, the glory yes. of God, the express image of God, he is upholding all things by the word of his power. So right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, ah. we thank you, Lord, that your word declares thank your you. glory. The thank creation you. declares your glory. Yes, and God. Father, Pray, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, for an in the glory of God, in the people of God, in the name of Jesus, that we yes. would be in awe, that we would be amazed, that we would have greater revelation, greater understanding of who Jesus is, that there would yes. be a greater impact of Jesus in our lives, that the glory of the Lord would be manifested upon us and in us, in the name, name of Jesus, of Jesus. That Lord, name of those Jesus. things that would want to come in and compete against your glory, those things that would want to come in and crowd out the glory of God within our lives. Lord, we take that garbage out right now in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. We command it to go garbage out and we declare, let the glory of God come yep. in. In the name of Jesus, oh, there would be a greater appreciation that you have purged us from our sins. There would be a greater appreciation that you are seated at the right hand of the majesty on yes. high. There would be a greater appreciation that you are upholding all things by the word of your power. We give you praise and we give you thanks, Lord, in Jesus' name. And that you speak to us in these last days, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let the glory be upon God's people. Let's keep moving. Healing. Oh, there are so many scriptures about healing in the word of God. There are those who need to be healed today. And we are believing God, even as we just look at three of these scriptures, that seeds are going to be planted and healing is going to come forward. Isaiah 53 and verse 5. But he, speaking about Jesus, but he was wounded for our transgressions. Yes, he, he was. For our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are healed in our relationship to God. Let no sin separate you from God. Jesus None. already paid the penalty, the chastisement, the punishment for our peace was upon him. He took it all so that we would be one with him, one with the Father, one with Holy Spirit. Yes. We are healed in our relationship with God. Psalm 30 and verse 2. Oh, Lord, my God, I cried to you and you healed me. This is the testimony of the psalmist. This is the testimony of many who are online right now. You can recall times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul talks about it all of the time that, that how the Lord healed her in, in her battle. Praise the Lord of, of yes. illness. Matthew 8 and verse 16. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word, glory to God, glory to and God. healed all who were sick. Yes. Like spirits, spirits left because of the word that Jesus spoke. Yes. And it's the same word. It's, we just read that he's speaking. He's spoken to us in these last days through his son. He's mm -hmm. speaking to us through his word. And it should be casting out all types of tormenting spirits. And it said he healed all. All who were sick. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father. Thank you for the seed of your word of healing. Mm -hmm. Lord, some have minor issues in their bodies. Some have bigger issues. Some have severe issues. Some need the 30. Some need the 60. Some need the hundredfold. And so, Lord, we pray that you would touch 
and heal in the name of Jesus. Right Those now, Father. Are hearing this word, multiply that healing within their hearts, O Lord, within their bodies, within their lives, within their relationships. Mend the brokenness, Lord God, the separation from you, and even within families, we are praying for healing yes. in the name of Jesus. Oh, in yeah. marriages in the yes. name of Jesus Christ tormenting and lying spirits let them be cast out right now oh, in right Jesus now in the name of Jesus and let that yes. garbage go and let your glory of healing come in in the name of Jesus mm. in the name of Jesus hallelujah yes. Amen. Amen. hallelujah Amen. let's keep on moving glory to God listen if things are bubbling up in your heart just allow it to keep on bubbling as we keep yes. flowing mm. joy Oh, how, how many of us need a little bit more joy? Come or on now. More joy. Psalm 5 and verse 11 says, But let those who rejoice, let those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because mm. you defend them. Let those who love your name be joyful in you. Oh, mm. glory to God. Do you love the name of Jesus? Yeah. Oh, be joyful. Yeah. It says, do they put their, do you put your trust in Jesus? Mm. Let out for joy. Why? Because God defends you. God is your defender. You have reason to rejoice. This thing is not going to consume you. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Psalm yes. 30 and 5 says, for his anger is but for a moment. moment. His favor is for life. Yes. Weeping may endure for a night. Ah. But Joy. comes in the morning. Yes. Listen, God doesn't say we're not going to go through times of weeping, but his promise to us is that that will endure during the night is there is the dark season that you're going through. Yes. But count on it. He says joy, coming. joy comes in the, the morning. morning. Yes. God wants you to believe that so that you will not oh, yes. feel defeated, that you will not be hopeless. Know that the joy of the Lord is going to come and that this darkness, that even right now, the night can be fleeting. Your be morning can start right now as you grab a hold of this word. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, ah, Jesus right now. the seed of joy. Lord, we know so many have been stripped and robbed of so much in their lives recently, O oh Father. But we pray right now for the joy of the Lord to enter into their hearts yes. right now. as they put their yes. trust yes. in you. Let them begin to shout for joy. They may not be feeling like it, but Spirit of the living God, one of your fruits <laughs> is joy. Holy Spirit, come in and let that well of joy start to spring up within their oh, hearts. Right let them start... Feel, oh Lord God, a confidence. Let them start to be joyful in you because they know that you are going to do it in their lives yes. in the name of Jesus. Though weeping may yes. endure for the night, we declare that joy comes in the joy morning. And that oh, morning hallelujah. Their lives in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. On number eight, we're going down to number 13, remember. Mm -hmm. So love. Oh, my goodness. They say there's so many people that are feeling lonely, that are feeling isolated. John 14 and verse 21. He who has my commandments, this is Jesus talking. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father. Mm -hmm. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Yes. Yeah. Love God by believing his word. And by walking according to his word. And that's how we can demonstrate. That's one way of demonstrating our love to the Lord. Mm. And now, and we demonstrate that love to the Lord. It's not that God doesn't love us. Because we know the scripture says God so loved the world. God loves everybody. Every yes, he does. But love is a two-way street, as they say. Amen. Love ah. to be reciprocated. And mm -hmm. God is here giving us the formula of how to reciprocate our love back to him. Back to him. We love him by mm -hmm. has his commandments, by believing his word, by keeping them, by walking according to them. And while we may not do that perfectly, he so loves us that he says, even if we sin, yes, yes. if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us Thank and to you. cleanse us of all unrighteousness. That's he what I said. 
us, he loves us, and he has already paid the penalty of our sins. And that way, even when we sin, we can receive the love of God Hallelujah. by receiving the forgiveness that Jesus already paid the price for. Hallelujah. And so God can lavish his love upon us. God can lavish his grace upon us. Jesus, you, Jesus said, I will love him. And you know, the saddest thing in this world yeah. is that people do not know and experience how much God loves them. Loves them. And they can God. have yeah. that in their hearts. They can have that in their lives to the point where you know that you are never alone. For he said, yeah. I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. you and God. then God can connect us up with others. Thank God for people who love us. Yeah. But my yeah. goodness, yeah. those people who know how to love us with the love of God, that just takes love to another level. Another level. Right. Right. Come on, sir. Because they are able to pour things into our lives that people who do not have the love of God, <laughs> the word of God in yeah. their hearts. Yeah. But thank oh, the gosh. Lord for people who love you in your life, but Jesus. even more so for people who know how to love you with the love of God. So, Father, Come we are on. praying right now in for all who are Jesus. feeling isolated, lonely, oh, Lord God. Father, right Seven, now. Feel like nobody cares. Nobody knows what they're going through. Lord, you know, and you love them. And, yes, Lord... Yes. Yes. Just plant this seed of the word of your love right now into their hearts as we yes, speak yes. it forth and pray it forth in the name of Jesus. Lord, yes. some need a little bit more love. Some need a lot of love. Some need the yes. 60 yes. Some need the hundredfold, Lord. Hundred they need a burst of revelation that they are precious, Lord. They are not useless. Yes. They are not castaways. Yes. But, Lord... They are precious in your sight because you created them and you love them and you yeah, died. Yeah. So, Lord, yeah, let yeah. them receive that love right now and be comforted in to your love Jesus. in Jesus' mighty name. name and I pray yeah, that yeah. you surround them, O oh Lord God. Send forth, even if it's one person, into their lives that would be able to love them and especially love them with the love of God the in the name, name of yeah. Jesus. Let them find that companionship, that yeah. friendship that that loneliness would not be there, Lord. Even the body of Christ, let them find a church family, O oh Lord God, a group of believers whom they yes. would be able to enter into this love relationship. Lord, for you said, by this would all men know that we are no. your disciples, that That's we have right. love one, for, one another. for another. Let the love of God yes. be magnified in each one of our hearts. Take it to another level, O oh Lord God, because people need more in the situations that they are going through. And Lord, help us to demonstrate your love in those situations. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right, Lord. Amen. Oh, let's move on to peace now. I'm, I'm telling you, every single one of these seeds. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but I'm full right now. Yeah. Oh, more. So, so right. You know, now. you know when you're at you're at that buffet back in the day, and uh, come on, that's another bite. I, I'm full, but that dessert is just <laughs> is oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to have, even if it's just a little bite. Let's let's move on to the dessert now. Oh, oh. Peace, John sixteen thirty three. These things I have spoken to you, yes. that in me you may have peace. Peace. These things I have spoken to you, that mm -hmm. in me you may yeah, have peace. Yeah. That's Jesus I'll saying that in him, in him, when you hear his word, mm -hmm. because they were concerned about him going away and what's going to happen to us and what are we going to do. But he said, I'm telling you my plan. This is what's yeah, going yeah. to happen. I am I'm going to send you the comforter, the Holy Spirit. These things I've spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Yes, I have yes. overcome the world. Now, I don't care what you're going through. If you would come to this scripture, John 16, 33, Jesus said you're going to have problems. You're going to yes. have trials. But I want to encourage you. I have overcome the world, so receive my peace. Yes. Let's look at Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Be anxious for nothing, uh -huh. but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known be made to God, known and the God. peace of God peace. surpasses God. all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Isaiah yeah, 26, yeah. 3. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts, trusts. in you. Father, in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. are those who have been robbed of their peace. Whatever the situation is that has caused their minds to be troubled, let them trust in Jesus and receive the seed of peace right now. Lord, those who need 30-fold, 60-fold, 100 fold, do it in their lives. Release that peace. Peace like a river, Lord. Ah, Lead the you. scriptures, oh Lord God. Jesus. For that more of your peace, that there would be a revelation of the peace of God. And Lord, you showed us how to receive it, that, that by praying to you, by giving you thanks, by letting our requests be made known unto you, this Thank peace you. that surpasses all understanding. Lord, we would stop trying to figure everything out, but we Come would just on. receive your peace that mm. will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, everyone hearing this, Lord, let them receive it, we pray. In yes. Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 Peace like a river. Feet, oh my God. Feed my spirit Hello. today. Let's, let's oh, Lord. Patience. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Do we need some patience? Yeah. Is anybody in a situation where you need to be patient? Come on Ooh. here. Yeah. James 1, 2 to 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Knowing that the testing of your faith, your faith. Produces, produces patience. Yes. Your you're faith gonna, is being get tested, some testing. Way, the scripture says, yeah. by what you're going through. Yes. But mm -hmm. God's plan is when your faith is tested, that it's not going to produce frustration. Right? Oh, 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 oh. It's not going to produce discouragement. Oh, oh. It's, it's not going to produce disobedience. No. Right? Knowing. You see, this is something you need to know when you fall into no, a trial. My right. faith is, is being no. tested, but God's plan is to produce patience. Verse yes. four, but Amen. let patience have its perfect work. In other words, yes. God starts that work, but let it be completed. Mm. Let patience have its perfect or perfect complete work, work yes. that My you Lord. may be perfect and complete, yes. lacking nothing. Nothing. Yes. nothing. Because you yes. can wait patiently. Upon the Lord, yes. the Lord who is my shepherd, yes. I shall not lack. I shall mm. not be in need. Yes. Why? Because he supplies all of my needs. So you can be patient yes. knowing that God is going to take care of it. Father, in the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, Right now, Father. We pray for those who are in situations who are trying to take things into their own hands. Help who right are being Lord. overcome by worry and despair. My that, God. Lord, you would release this seed, this word of patience into their hearts, yes. that they would be able to wait patiently, confidently, knowing that, oh, Lord God, you are working and you are using that trial even to produce patience in their lives in the name of Jesus. Let them be complete. Let them lack nothing, oh, Lord God. Let them yes. see as they're patiently waiting upon you that you are taking care of every single minute detail. You are putting yes. things in place as patience is developed that they would see it, that they would receive this revelation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank Let you. Let garbage of despair and hopelessness go right now in the name of Jesus oh, as you keep wait patiently upon you. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Let the glory of your patience be right now. Receive Amen. patience. Receive Amen. the ability to wait confidently upon the Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name. He shall bring it to pass. Yes, he will Bill. watch over his word to perform it. Yes. He has declared it. He shall do it according to his word. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's move on to praise now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, it is a good thing to praise the Lord, as we all know. Uh, yes, yes, Exodus yes. 15 and verse 2. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Yes, he, he has. Is God, and I will praise him. My praise Father's him. God, and I will exalt him. Yes. Having yes. a heart in a posture of praise, with praise Thank and thanksgiving. It's rejoicing in all of the other things that we covered and so our response should be praise. Some of us, we've, you know, as, as the song says, I, I never lost my praise. No. <laughs> I pray that would be our testimony. But if your praise has kind of withered because of the worries and the heaviness of this life and the experiences that you have been going through, let this seed of praise enter your heart. Realize that the Lord is my strength. 
Yes. The Lord is our song. The Lord, the Lord is our salvation. On, he Jesus. is your God. Speak and so, praise him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank we're you. praying for that spirit of praise, praise. to replace yes. the garment of heaviness in the name yes. of Jesus. Amen. Let these people who hear your word, let us exalt you, O Lord God. Yes, Some of them of their praise. Even being online, O oh Lord God, and not being gathered together as a congregation for some, the, the praise has, has started to wither. But Lord, by your spirit, according to your word right now, in the name of Jesus, let them have such a revelation of you that they will have to praise you when they yes, realize God. You have kept them in the midst of the storm that you are seeing them through, that you have healed, that you have delivered, that you have comforted, that, yes, oh, Lord God. God, you have encouraged. You have done all of these things, Lord God. Let them praise you in the name of Jesus. of Jesus. And, oh, Lord, that little voice of the enemy that would come and say, don't Hallelujah. praise God. You don't need to praise God. You can do this thing on your own. No, no, no. Lord, let, let your people give you the praise for all that you've done and all that you've going to do in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. On to our, our last two. Power. Oh, glory to God. Oh, yes. But you shall receive power, power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you yes. shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And we Hallelujah. heard about this message last week for, about receiving power to be a witness for God on the day Thank of you, Pentecost. Lord. Shared. First mm -hmm. Corinthians 4 and verse 20. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. In other words, yes. it's not just about talking about talking. these things. That's mm -hmm. right. God backs it up with his power according and to the mighty does. power in which he is working in us. And so, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray for this seed of your word of power to be released into people's lives, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold, that you would use us to a greater degree, that that power of the Holy Spirit would come into us and we would do the works that you have called us to do. Oh. Jesus, you said, greater works shall you do than these because you go unto the Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Miracles, healings, Signs and, signs wonders. and wonders and wonders oh lord god all of these things you said to go into all the world and to preach this gospel you told us to cast out demons oh lord god you told us to heal the sick oh lord god hallelujah let there be recovery of sight to the blind in the, in name, the name of, of jesus. jesus everything you want to do let it be done in and through us by your power and help us not to rely on ourselves but to rely on the power of your spirit within yes, us god. in jesus name Amen. Amen. Let's come Amen. to a full purpose. Oh, some people, they, they don't know what their purpose is. Purpose. They don't know what the purpose is of whatever it is they're going through. But God's word, we're planting that seed of purpose. For some people, it needs to be a fresh revelation because of where you're at right now. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to yes. those who are called according to his, to purpose. his purpose. God has a purpose for your yes, life. You've probably yes, heard he it time and time again, but sometimes we need to be reminded. And for some people, it might be the first time that they're hearing this. Everything, be it good or bad, that you have gone through, that God has allowed in your life. And some people hate God because of some of the things that they have gone through. My no, Lord. God can even take those things and turn it around for your good and Amen. use it as a testimony and demonstrate all of these things that we just prayed about before. Remember, the seed that falls on the good soil is not absent. It's not apart from the circumstances of those other ones with right. the worries of this life and the desires and the enemy attacking and trying to snatch things away and all of those things that will want to come in and crowd out. But God has a purpose in and through all of it. So, Father, yes. right now in the name of Jesus, Spirit we pray of God. For those who are just wandering, who do mm. not know your purpose, who do uh. not know their purpose in life, that, Lord, they would hear this and there would be a multiplication in their hearts that, yes, there is a God who loves them. And, yes, there is a God who has a plan, who has a purpose for their life and a purpose for the things that they have gone through. In the name of Jesus, let the garbage of every single lie. Oh, my God. Mm. 
that has happened in their life that has caused them to be hostile or unbelieving or doubtful of you in some way. Let My that heart be taken out right now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty and let name the glory of, Jesus. of your purpose come in. In Jesus' name, in let Jesus them name. start to see it, Lord, where they were blind before, open up their eyes and cause them to see your purpose. And yes, your purpose yes. in and through all of this is that each one of us would be conformed to the image of Jesus oh, Christ, Christ, your son. You are oh, working oh. to make more and more like you. Oh, Lord God, that love relationship. And oh, Lord God, that blessing to others. Oh, Father, let them see purpose in the name of Jesus, oh, Jesus. we give you praise, Lord. And we give yeah. you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to close Amen. with one little acronym. And it's um, it's not up there up on the screen. But I just want to say the final acronym that I want to share uh, with you is TRY. Mm -hmm. T-R-Y. This is, this is what God is, is calling us to do mm -hmm. in the midst of all of this. T-R-Y. Are you ready? Yes. The T, trust. To trust means to believe what a person says is true. Mm -hmm. God wants us to trust him. Amen. Only, not just trust, but rely. T-R. Trust, rely. What does it mean to rely? It means to count on someone, right? You're counting mm -hmm. on someone to do something for you or to be there for you when you need them. Amen. So trust, we believe what God says. And secondly, we trust. We trust, we trust and we rely. We believe that God is going to do what he said. He's going to be there for us. Mm -hmm. And finally, we need to yield. Yield. By yielding, we are allowing. To yield is to allow, to submit to give the right of way to someone willingly. It's not against your will. That's right. So right. Yielding is actually that action on your part whereby it merges the trusting and the relying. Mm -hmm. It is the foundation for a genuine relationship with God. When you yield to God, you are allowing God and you're submitting and you're saying, Lord, do what I am believing, what I'm trusting you to do. And what I'm relying upon you to do, I yield and I say, have your way. Do it in my life, Lord. Now, yes. whether how easy it is to trust, to rely and to yield on someone, it's, it's based on that person's character, right? If, if someone is yes. not trustworthy, someone is telling lies all the time, it's hard to trust, it's hard to rely and definitely it's difficult to yield. And it's mm -hmm. not yes. Easy. So a person's character, uh, their availability, will they be there? Or in the past, have they disappeared on you? Mm. Uh, you know, proximity. Some people might want to help, but they just live too far away and they're unable to provide the help that you need. Um, you know, their, their, their position, you know, their, your relationship based on the level of how much you know them and how resourceful are they, whether or not you're able to trust them. They might want to be able to do something, but you know, financially or just physically, or they just might not have the resources to be able to help you. So you, it, it affects the, the, the trust because they don't have the resources. Amen. And ultimately, you know, how much does that person love you? That will determine how much you will trust, rely, and yield. Mm -hmm. So even as I said all of those things, it's just to build that confidence, that trust, that reliance, and that yielding. Because God's character is flawless. Amen. He's Amen. available at all times. He is as near as within your heart, if you believe yes, in Jesus. Yes. Speak it out of your mouth. His, his relationship right. with you, which he just wants it to be as solid as ever. Mm -hmm. Resources, oh my goodness. The cattle and a thousand hills are his, right? Everything mm -hmm. belongs Everything. to the Lord. And he's, he's freely yes. able to give it to us. Yes, and his yes. love is an unconditional love. And so we have reason to be able to trust, rely, and to yield Thank to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Listening that does Hallelujah. not know Jesus as Lord and Savior, Hallelujah. we are encouraging you to try Jesus, trust yes. Jesus, rely on Jesus, yield your life to Jesus. 
Say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive right. me of my sins. Help me to experience and to know you. Yes, Jesus, Lord. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. What a blessed Bro word today. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother, I still Brother have Mike. your video here. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brother Mike. You, softly. Uh, um, Evangelist Debbie is going to close in prayer as this video comes up and play softly. Would you close us out, Evangelist Debbie? Heavenly Father God, we just want to praise your holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Father, thank you for your good and faithful servant, Pastor Booth Owen, this morning, Father, delivering such an amazing message. Yes, Father, thank God. You to bless him in his journey, in his ministry, and bless his family. Father, let us remember that your death and your burial and your re resurrection was the ultimate release of all of the weeds of sin in our lives, Father. Yes. And we received the gift of the Holy Spirit, Father. The gift of glory came into our lives. So, Father, as we go throughout our week, let us remember that we are not conquered, but that we are more than conquerors. That we are not warriors, that we are warriors. That we are yes. not servants to Satan, but that we are soldiers in your army, Father. Hallelujah. That it doesn't matter who plants it or waters it, Father, but it is you who causes it to grow, and you get the glory. We yes. pray this yeah. our Son, our brother and Savior, Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on up, Martin Mike. Bring up that volume. Yes. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. 